Hello, everybody, and welcome to another mystery box function challenge. In the purple box, there is some mystery math, and your challenge is to figure out what that is. You can pause the video, use the link in the description to get to this page where you can put in as many numbers as you like in the top and see how they're transformed by that mystery math when they come out the bottom. When you think you've got an idea of what's inside that mystery box, come on back, play the video, and see if I get the same thing you got. All right, let's get started today. One, okay, how about a one? And a one gives us a, ooh, okay. I have a suspicion already. That number looks suspicious to me. Let's put in a two. Uh -huh. Are you recognizing any of these? I'm gonna put in a three and I'm gonna predict we get a two. Three give us two. Yes, it does. Okay, and I'm also going to put in a negative one. I'm thinking we're going to get a zero. Aha. So how about that shape? Does that look familiar to you? I'm going to do one more thing. Let's see. I'm going to put in an eight, and I think we're going to get a three. Yes, we got a three. Okay, and then here's a bigger clue. I'm going to put in a negative two. Yeah, just as I thought, it says not a number. So the, the computer cannot compute whatever's happening to a negative two. And if we put in other negative numbers, you know, less than negative one, I think we'd get the same thing. So to me, this looks like the square root of x, except it's not exactly the square root of x because it's moved over one. Usually you, you can't put a negative one in here, but we put in a negative one and we got zero. And the square root of three isn't two, but the square root of four is. So it's like they've added one and then they take the square root. And you know we could do that by just doing that. Now, if you put in a negative one, negative one plus one would be zero, and the square root of zero is zero, and that would get us that one. Let's try it with eight. So eight plus one would be nine, and the square root of nine is three, and that's what we get when we put in eight. So I think our function is the f of is f of x equals the square root of x plus one. All right, and you may notice a pattern here. Inside the radical sign, we add one to move the whole function over one in a negative direction. If we'd put the plus one outside, it would have moved the whole function up. Well, let's see if we're right. Yes, so this is the square root of x plus 1, and we can graph that as well. And there it is, that lovely tapering curve of the square root function. Well, how did that go for you? Did you did you get suspicious about these numbers right away and start thinking square root? I've seen this 1.4142 come up uh, several times already, and that made me think square root of 2. Um, how about you? Let me know how it went. Thanks, everybody.